Hi guys, in this tutorial I will show you how to make an easy and cool transition effect in After Effects with just using an ellipse tool. Let's begin. Make sure none of your layers are selected and then grab an ellipse tool and mask like that, just make sure to hold shift while creating the shape. Once you are done, we should fix anchor point, cause as you see it's not in the center of the shape, to fix it, make sure shape layer is selected, then hold control button on your keyboard and double click on anchor point tool here. It's fixed and now make sure to align the shape in the center horizontally and vertically from here. Once we have that perfect shape, we can scroll to the end of our first clip and just make sure to cut the ending of a shape layer like that. Then go 50 frames backward, hold shift and press page up 5 times and make sure to cut the beginning as well. Let's rename that shape layer to mask and then let's drag our second clip below it like that. Now click on toggle switches slash modes and change your second clip's mat to a mask, or a shape we have created. Now select mask layer and press S on a keyboard, then scale that shape something like this and click on scale stopwatch icon. Now go to the very end of a mask layer and bump up the scale until it covers the video. Make sure to drag that second keyframe to the very end of a mask layer and then select both keyframes and hit F9 on a keyboard to easy ease them. Then go to graph editor, right click here and select edit speed graph and then make a smooth curve. Let's quickly check it. Looks fine, let's close graph editor and scroll forward a little bit so we can see the shape and then apply a turbulent displace effect on mask layer. I will randomly bump up complexity until it's fine to me, I guess 5 is cool, then play around with the amount randomly again and I think it looks fine to me and we can check the effect one more time and see what we can add more. Looks fine, but when the effect ends, the video goes black and to fix it, scroll to the end of mask layer and then split your second clip in two parts, make sure second piece is selected and then just click on invert mat icon here, now it's fixed and we can check it again. Looks cool, but to make it look better, we can add a shake effect. I will skip shakes part because I have made too much shake tutorials, also I have made 16 unique shake presets that you can get from the link in description, check how it looks like with my shake presets. In case you don't want to add shake, we can do another easy thing, let me toggle off shake layer first and then select mask layer and then scroll to the very beginning of it and then press T on a keyboard. Click on opacity stopwatch icon and then change opacity to 0%. Now scroll few frames forward and change opacity back to 100% and then we can check it one more time. That looks smooth as well. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and like the video please.